Hi guys, and welcome to my first Motivational Monday on my YouTube channel. This is Lindsay, and I am with Nevermore Creations, mostly doing junk journal, paper crafting type ticks, ticks, tricks, tips, and tutorials. So my first Motivational Monday is on using up our coffee dyed scraps. So the whole purpose of my Motivational Monday is to motivate us to do something with our craft supplies that help our future crafting and reduce the um, clutter and the scraps and the excess and kind of help us get past a stuck point in our crafting. So here I have a whole bunch of um, just coffee dyed scraps that have been cut down from journal pages, um, from journals that I've done and things like that and they're piling up. So I have two suggestions for you today and one I got the idea from Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures. I love watching her um, YouTube channel and I love watching how she backs almost all of her ephemera with coffee dyed paper. So here I have a uh, sheet from the Digital Collage Club and she has a whole bunch of these little postcards and I think they're so adorable. These ones are butterfly themed and I am right um, at this moment decorating um, a journal, obviously, that has to do with insects and butterflies and so on. It's called the Entomologist. Hopefully I'll have it done by the time this is actually up. But, so here's our piece of ephemera. And usually what we uh, do, or what I like to do, is just ink the edges and put it in the book. Super simple. And that is a wonderful way. I mean, you can still definitely journal on the back, no problem. But look at this beautiful piece of coffee dyed paper. I'm going to show you how to really up our, um, up our ante here with the journaling. So let's move these out of the way. Super simple. Just I just take a glue stick, and I don't even have to go all the way around just a little bit to hold it down because I am going to stitch around it with the sewing machine. And if you line up two of the straight edges, that just saves your cutting uh, time. And then all you have to do is cut along this edge. That glue just grabs it to the paper so you're not worrying about it slipping. When I try to do it without the glue, it doesn't line up very well. So if you glued it all the way around, you could just leave it at that and not stitch. But I really, really love um, stitching, so I'm gonna grab my sewing machine here. I do not know how much of this machine you are going to be able to see, but hopefully you can see something. And I'm gonna have to figure out my uh, camera angle. And then I'm just going to quickly stitch around it. And this is not sped up. This is the speed I do it at. I don't try to do it perfectly. And I just go all the way around in one motion. And I'm done. And then I just trim off my ends a little bit. And there we go. Now it's backed beautifully. And then I go back in with my ink and just ink the edges right over the stitches. And I like to flip it and do the other side too because if you're journaling on the other side, that just adds a very finished look. And then you can go ahead and cut out all of your ephemera, all of your pieces that you want to back and just uh, quickly back them all and have them all ready to go to slip right into a pocket or journal or something like that. So that is tip one. Tip two is even easier. And I'll show you, I've been using these in a lot of my journals and here they are already cut. I just keep a pile of these in my um, like journal ephemera box that I pull from and I just cut down I don't even measure perfectly, but they are, my guess is about one by three inches. And you can do them, um, um, you know, they don't have to be perfect. You can measure them if you want to. Okay, so I just do these as little rectangular tags and I grab my hole punch and I like to use a smaller hole punch and I just punch a hole right there and then I slip those in my journal. And if you have a little mini eyelet, um, they look amazing on there. I do not have the right size eyelets right now. I bought the wrong size on um, online. But these I like to slip in. And then if I'm doing a mini journal and I have a tiny tuck spot, I actually fold part of it back 
and I tuck it in like that. So then you can pull it out and have more to journal on. And this is how it would look with the regular size hole punch. It still looks amazing. And since we have the regular size hole punch right there, let's go ahead and try to put in an eyelet. Let me grab a, a big, because I do have the bigger eyelets. And I want to show you how amazing an eyelet makes these look. Okay. And it looks even better with a smaller eyelet. Oops, got a little smushed, but still super, super cool. Lots of character. And so those are my two um, motivational Monday using up coffee dyed scraps. And that's something that if in an evening you're watching TV, you can cut out a million of these. Just start grabbing your paper, cutting them up, punching little holes in them, and you are ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this motivational Monday. And please check back tomorrow for my um, first ever Technique Tuesday.